lot of really nice homes in this area, the Kahala region, some of the most expensive real estate uh, on island. Shoreline here is about 20 million and up. Well, that big white house right down there is mine. I can dream, right? Really nice golf course and country club over here to the left called Wai Lai Golf Course and Country Club. It's on the PGA Tour. Every January the Sony Open is held there. Michael, where are you from? South Carolina. South Carolina. Oh, very cool. And uh, how about you, Beverly? Tasmania. Sorry, can you say it a little closer to the mic? Tasmania. Oh, wow. That's that's pretty awesome. How's, how's the weather in Tasmania? Very cold. Yeah, it's cold right now, I bet, huh? How about Mike and Claire? Where are you guys from? Oregon. Oregon, nice. I grew up in New Where Orleans. Uh, so I grew up in New Orleans and uh, then lived all over the place. Moved to Oregon in 2007. And Central Oregon, did all my flight training there. And uh, then I was a flight instructor for a while and went and did tours in the Grand Canyon and had the opportunity to come do tours in Hawaii. So moved the wife and two kids out here and we're loving it. We don't want to move again. This town over here to the front left is Hawaii Kai, really nice town, a lot of uh, marinas and inlets. You can do a lot of water activities there. You can charter a boat, rent jet skis, and go parasailing. And this uh, peak just behind Hawaii Kai is Coco Crater. And it's similar to uh, Diamond Head. It's a tough cone volcano. First erupted about 30,000 years ago. The last eruption was only 7,000 years ago. This is the most recent uh, volcanic activity on the island. You can see the one really steep trail to the top right there. It's an old railroad. There used to be a military presence in the crater there as well. And now it's about 1,000 steps all the way to the top, about 1,200 feet above sea level. A lot of really nice homes in this area. This is called China Walls, really pretty coastline where the waves come crashing. Uh, in on the rocks, really dramatic. There are some places where brave people can jump off the rocks into the water right there. Coming into view on the left, this beautiful bay you're about to see in a minute, it's called Hanama Bay. It's a collapsed caldera where the seaward wall is worn away. Straight ahead is the island of Molokai. It looks really close, but it's about 25 miles away. You go in there at that direction, you'll hit Molokai and then Lanai, and then you'll be at Maui and the big island. Hanama Bay here is closed on Mondays and Tuesdays, but you can visit Wednesday through Sunday. Really good snorkeling spot. A lot of marine life in the bay. Green sea turtles, the occasional monk seal will come in the bay as well. Tons of tropical fish, of course, and the uh, fish are practically tame. They're so used to people, you can get really close to them. We're going to come over here and do a turn and give the right side a better view of the bay. Right now they're allowing uh, 750 visitors a day. They open up reservations 48 hours in advance at 7 a.m. So if you want to visit the bay, be ready at 7 a.m. to make your reservation.
little parking lot right down here is an area called Spitting Caves, and the waves come crash in. Some caves, really pretty. You can park right there and check it out. And if you don't want to do the really steep climb to the top of Coco Crater, there's a beautiful botanical gardens inside the crater. You can drive right in. Specializes in rare uh, species of dryland plants and trees. This little parking lot right down here is the Halona Blowhole. The waves come into a lava tube cave and shoot out of an uh, opening at the top. When the waves are big, it can shoot 40 feet up in the air. This little beach down here is called Sandy Beach, pretty popular spot for surfing, uh, boogie boarding, and body surfing. This point up ahead is called Makapu'u Point. There's a parking lot down here and a nice paved easy walking trail 1.6 miles to Makapu'u Lighthouse. You'll be able to see on the edge of the cliff here in a moment. Still uh, operational, maintained by the U.S. Coast Guard. And Makapu'u means bulging eye in the native language. This island right down here is called Rabbit Island. Kind of looks like a rabbit's face on the right and the ears behind it. A seabird sanctuary today, so it's one of the few islands you can't actually visit. This is Sea Life Park down here to the left. Catch a lot of marine life shows there, luau's as well, and you can swim with dolphins there. go paragliding off these cliffs here to the left. This long stretch of sandy beach is called Waimanalo Beach. It's the longest stretch of sandy beach on the island, about five miles long. Great place to come if you get tired of all the crowds in Waikiki. You can drive